You know, Christmas time is a time of magic. Wondering what to get the cat adjuster in your life? Keep watching. What's up, cat adjusters? Now, right now, is the best time of year to buy stuff for yourself. If you have big purchases to make, it's a great time to buy stuff, for, more importantly, for really for other people. Cyber Monday and Black Friday and all that stuff, this is the week for it. So Thanksgiving is this week. So if you're looking to buy a new printer, a new laptop, a new ladder, any other kind of large purchase, purchase associated with doing claims, now it's time to do it. So here's a top 10 list of things that you can get for the cat adjuster in your life, even yourself. Number one, a set of nonstick pants. When you go on cat and you're in a hotel room like an extended stay or any place that has a kitchen, which I recommend if you don't, if you don't have an RV and you're going to stay on cat for a long time, you need to have a few really crucial pieces of cooking equipment because when you go to a place like extended stay they may have dishes there they may have pots and pans and things but they're all like super thin aluminum and if you try to make an egg in one of those you just it's they don't have non-stick cookware at hotels that you're going to go to so i would pick up a set one maybe two non-stick pan a decent one you know one that's got a little bit of thickness to it so that it's not doesn't have a great big hot spot in the middle and i would add that to my gear bag These are the Steep Gear Safety Pants. You wear these on over your regular clothes, and this material is super sticky and super tacky, so that if you happen to take a tumble or a spill on a roof, it, it keeps you from sliding off of the roof. Because I can tell you right now, khaki pants and a golf shirt won't protect your skin, and it will also instantly shred the second it makes contact with roof shingles when you start sliding it's gonna rip right up and it's not going to stop you from going down and sliding off the edge of the roof. Let's say we inspect in the shingle. I just died. These absolutely will. We can talk all day long about having too many pieces of safety gear or safety gear that is um, We'll just say fashionably conspicuous. Uh, in other words, people that might make a comment or say something about them, you might feel silly wearing them. But most of the people that I know that have fallen off roofs have slid off roofs, and if they were wearing something like this, steep these steep gear shorts, they probably wouldn't have fallen off the roof and would have maybe just only gotten some cuts and scrapes instead of having broken ribs and a broken leg. So check them out, steepgear.com. In that same vein, cougar paws. I highly recommend a set of cougar paws. Always should have um, a pair of them in the back of your truck or the back of your car um, for when you encounter steep roofs, and you're going to encounter steep roofs. Absolutely an essential piece of gear, and I highly recommend that you get cougar paws. If not now, get them before uh, next storm season. These days, uh, a lot of new vehicles have um, power points or hot points or the, you know little like uh, cigarette lighter plug-ins, and a lot of cars these days also have regular old plug-in plug-ins, even like a three-prong electrical outlets in the bed of the truck or in the back seat or whatever. Um, some of them don't. If you're going to be running a scanner and a, a printer in your vehicle and also charging your phone and your uh, laptop, I would recommend getting a heavy-duty power inverter, plugging it in, leaving it in the back seat, and it'll provide you with power in your vehicle. Um, so that you don't have to go to Starbucks, sit there and charge your phone back up or whatever. I got one of these things years and years and years ago as a Christmas present. And it's one of those things that you like you unwrap and you're like, what in the world is this? This thing has been probably one of the, the most useful and the most used items that I've, I think I've ever gotten for Christmas. It's a collapsible laundry bin. You can slide it in between the seats. You can stick it in between your gear and your truck and whatever when you're traveling to a site. You pop it out, you set it on the floor in the corner, and you toss your dirty clothes into it, and it's you don't have a mess of dirty clothes or a little pile behind the door. It's something that helps to or keep things organized for you so you're not tripping over stuff or mixing your clean clothes with the dirty clothes um, and, or bringing along an actual laundry basket. This collapsible laundry bin is the great one of the greatest inventions really since the wheel. You know, whether you're gonna adjust claims with a drone or not, if you, if you like drones, if you like doing aerial photography, aerial videography, or racing, check out the DJI Mavic Pro 2. They're up to this, they're the second iteration of this one. 
that came out this year and there's two different varieties of it and one of them can zoom because they fold up in the little tiny small package you can stick them in your bag and take them on vacation to Hawaii when you go or take them to the you know instead of having a great big gigantic box or a case when you go to visit your family and friends for the holidays and you want to play with the kids out in the yard you got this little tiny thing about this big the controller is this big and it fits into an area about like that in the, in the end of your you know, your computer bag or your suitcase and pop that thing out so you get it, get the kids out of everybody's hair and play with the drone all afternoon. Really super cool and I think really good for doing um, aerial surveys, aerial photography, even doing aerial damage stuff. I don't see any any reason to get an Inspire or a, even a Phantom to do aerial damage surveys because all you're after is a camera that's in the air and this is well, this one has a 4k camera on it it's pretty cool of course the fujifilm xp120 i think there's a few different varieties of this camera all of them are less than 200 dollars they're shock proof if you drop it from six feet it won't break it's waterproof if you drop it from six feet or even from zero feet into water and it, or you drop it in the gutter that's full of water you're not going to ruin your camera. It's got a relatively wide angle lens so you don't have to go all the way out and across the street in order to get the full risk photo in and you can stand there a little bit closer. You want to get claims done quickly, use SD cards, use this compact camera that's got a wide angle lens, shock proof, waterproof, good to go. A Jato desk is a super cool gadget that you can set in the passenger side of your vehicle. They come in a bunch of different varieties. You can bolt them to the floor and you've got your laptop right there. Things like Jato desks help to organize your vehicle so that you can uh, hammer out claims as fast as possible with the least amount of screw-ups from losing stuff or not being able to find things. When I became a staff adjuster, they really, really, really wanted me to, or wanted us to write our estimates on site, which I always did anyway. But one thing that they did that I never did was they we, they encouraged us to use a laptop stand. So in other, in other words, you go into a house and we have a lot of water claims, take your laptop into the house, you got this little fold up, ladder or laptop stand, go into the first room, take your photos, get your measurements, and then walk over and put stuff into sketch. Oh, you know, you got some baseboards, measure that out, put that in the sketch. Do everything while you're still in the room on this laptop stand because a lot of times there isn't something to set your computer on. And then when you pick that up and go to the next room, go to the hallway, you can turn the light off in that room and close the door. You're done in there. And then you just walk your laptop stand around the whole house. And by the time you get to the last room and you finish putting everything in for that, then you can print out the, a copy of the estimate, to, you can just go over with the insurer to hand it to them, and then jump in the car and go to the next one. I don't do claims these days without a laptop stand and without uh, writing everything on site in Sketch, in the room while I'm there, and a laptop stand is an invaluable tool for helping you to do this. You know, having all this gear and everything is, is great, but having a plan for how to move through your claims with the most efficiency, with the highest accuracy, with the best customer service, you have to have there's, you have to have a plan, a battle plan, a blueprint, a uh, program for doing this. And my book, The Elite Adjuster Method, I don't usually say this a lot, it's specifically designed with how to schedule your time down to the hour, what to do every hour of every single day, of especially your very first storm, so that you don't have any guesswork. I think it's a great resource. I don't know of really any other resource out there that has a specific step-by-step -step plan for getting through claims with the least amount of pulling out your hair and anxiety and frustration and errors, which is gonna cause even more anxiety and frustration. If you're serious about doing catastrophe, specifically catastrophe work on the property side, the Elite Adjuster Method is in the third edition now. It's a, it's a great resource and I highly recommend it. I don't often do this, but I encourage you to use my Amazon affiliate links in the description below if you're thinking about buying any of these things. I will get a very small commission on the sale, but it's at no extra charge to you. So there you have it. I hope this takes some of the guesswork out of what to buy the cat property adjuster in your family this holiday season. Of course, don't forget to check out Adjuster TV on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Adjuster TV. I'd love for you to hit the like button and share this video. And of course, for more independent property claims, cat adjuster, insurance industry, information and content and videos, hit the subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a great storm and have a very Merry Christmas. And don't forget the reason for the season, and that is Jesus Christ. Tidings we bring to you and your This is Adjuster TV. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.